Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Fallout 4 video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to find the Freedom Trail in Fallout 4. This is one of the biggest mysteries that I found throughout this game and definitely one of the more interesting ones as well because it's a part of a quest line that doesn't exactly tell you where to go. Meaning when you uh, stumble upon a quest that requires finding the Freedom Trail, it's not going to show up on your minimap or there's not going to be a marker telling you where to go. So to start finding the Freedom Trail, you need to head towards the Park Street Station, which is right outside of Swan's Pond. And you're actually going to find this tour bot right next to a sign that says the Freedom Trail. And pretty much once you listen to the Freedom Bots or the tour bot's little speech, he'll basically initiate the quest of finding the Freedom Trail. And from there, you're going to need to follow this red brick road. Now, the red brick road is pretty mangled, and it's going to be really destroyed, obviously, because the city was hit with nuclear bombs. Uh, but eventually, they do kind of meet and come together. And these red brick roads are going to take you to various seals on the map that are going to have two important things. One of them is going to be a number, and the other one is going to be a letter. Now, once you find these, you need to write down the number and the correspondence responding letter because that is going to be very important a little bit later on. So scattered throughout the city of Boston, there's actually eight of these seals on the ground, one with a different letter and one with a different number. And once you have found all eight of those seals, you'll be able to actually put in the passcode when it comes to getting to the final location. Now in this video, I only show you six because those are the only ones I needed to find. I found R, A, I, L, R, and then O which I knew was going to spell railroad. So the final spelling or the four words is railroad. So I guess if you wanted to skip that entire process and then go straight to the end, you can. But if you want to follow the red brick road, that's exactly what I did. And it's pretty cool because your character has some nice dialogue with the seals every time he finds them. And the final location is going to be located at the Old North Church, which is in the northeast corner of the Boston Commonwealth. Now, this wasn't my first time to the Old North Church. So once you do go inside, you are going to be met with plenty of ghouls to fight off. Once you do that, you just need to head towards kind of the entrance down to the right, where you'll go down a few stairwells and fight off some more ghouls. And once you get to the end, you should notice this almost Mayan-like puzzle piece that you need to adjust. You can rotate it counterclockwise and clockwise. And basically, you just need to spell out the words railroad. Now, if you input a wrong word, like the entire building will kind of shake letting you know that you've done the wrong word. But once you input railroad, it's actually going to open up and you can go inside uh, and you will actually be greeted by three people. One of them is Desdemona, who's kind of the leader of the Freedom Railroad. You'll get interrogated by her for a few seconds and you get introduced to her other little squad mates right there. And pretty much that's just it. The reason I was finding this railroad was to get a chip decoded. I'm not going to go into too many spoilers right there because I know you guys don't want to have uh, the game and the plot totally spoiled. But pretty much I was there to decipher a chip uh, and that was it. Once I got done with that conversation, I was done. I had finished the railroad and I had found it, meaning that it was going to be permanently saved on my map and I could go there anytime. So the mystery of the Freedom Railroad and the Freedom Trail is pretty frustrating, especially when you don't know what to do, really because the tour bot doesn't give you any information on where to go, who to talk to, what to do. Uh, and if you try to just blindly go to these locations without following the red road, you're certainly going to get lost, turned around, and confused. So basically, just follow all the steps I did in this video, or you can just go to the Old North Church now that I've told you how to do it and input the word railroad. But if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, you can certainly do it how I did, which is traversing through the city of Boston. Let me know if this was helpful for you guys, and let me know if you had any trouble with this in the comment section down below. Once again, if you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily Fallout 4 videos, like this. With out of the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.